everyone, it's Sohyun from Pyongyang. I'm a North Korean news KP and a human rights advocate. So today in this propaganda review series, we will cover a North Korean shopping center video. As done previously, we will watch and react together. A quick background about this North Korean department store, Taesung. It is one of the top luxury stores in North Korea. It opened in 1986 under Kim Jong-il and was renovated in 2019 by Kim Jong-un. So Kim Jong-un added a bunch of luxury goods when he reopened again in 2019. And I'm pretty sure that even people in Pyongyang cannot afford the goods in these department stores because they are selling all those things in US dollars and as I know, they are super expensive. So there are a total of four floors where groceries, household goods, luxury items, clothes, electronic goods are displayed. I will discuss further details as we dive into the video and at the end, I want to share some secrets about shopping in North Korea. So stay with me to the end. I know it is a common thing in America to stop by a grocery store on your way home, but in North Korea, it is as not common as here, and especially for this one, it is less likely to happen for several reasons. First of all, as I know, the products in Daesung are expensive and are sold in US dollars, as I mentioned in the introduction. Secondly, um, as for getting to this store, you can only reach this store through a trolley or bus. And in North Korea, these are not running well. What I'm trying to say is that um, it is not convenient to reach the store unless you have a business car or can afford a taxi or your work is next to the store. I think Una is really getting into her acting role, becoming a real actress. I'm not sure if those were her real reactions, but um, either way, she's definitely getting the attention. Well, I have never heard of this factory. I suppose it is new brand. <laughs> Gyeongwon is quite a famous company for its snack and sweets productions. I never heard of them making instant noodles, but I suppose they started a new line. Um, this company has high credibility, and so if you ever given the choice in North Korea, choose Gyeonghun brand. Hey, 
When Tesla reopened, there was a controversy about how similar its product's packaging was to that of South Korea's. South Korean media says North Korea copied their style, and I believe no one would object to that. Can you guys see that uh, they blow all those price marks? Why would they hide these prices if they are so confident in their supposed generous and plentiful availability of products? It is because of how unreasonably expensive these items are. If you go to a North Korean store and touch everything without buying any of it, the store staff will give you dirty looks. Um, I do not agree with her. Even before Kim Jong Un, Pyongyang soju was famous already. So we can clearly know that um, all she is doing is glorifying Kim Jong Un like a god. Look at this lady's face next to Una. She's looking at Una like she's crazy. Um, no one talks like that or gets that excited about fermented flat fish in North Korea. And of course, she's probably not used to seeing people feel them in public places. I admit that North Korea packaging has improved a lot. However, the quality of what is inside is still questionable. This propaganda video reminds me the shopping experience in North Korea. So it is similar but quite different from the experience here. So I'm going to share the two top secrets about shopping in North Korea with you all. Here are two secrets. First, there is no written policy in North Korea. So Una probably came to this store with a budget for making this video and that is why she put back so many of her favorite items. Um, and the second secret is 
such luxury shopping centers only accept US dollars, euros, and they only accept Korean won if it matches the black market exchange rate. Even if they mark the labels with the national average exchange rate. And that is why they blurred all the price tags in the video. To wrap this all up, something in this film that reminds me of other propaganda videos is how only the best areas or products of North Korea are shown and talked about. For example, um, this store was completely full of food items with unknown prices, but they never mentioned that much more popular and affordable black markets that rule the North Korean economy in any of those propaganda videos. I hope you found this all informative and even entertaining. I appreciate if you like and subscribe my video and channel. See you next time. Thank you.